Hi, this video is going to show you how to add other types of assignments to the classwork section of your Google Classroom. So I'm going to click on my class card to be popped into the stream section. And I'm going to flip over to the classwork tab up at the top. We can see that we have our topics and we can see that we have a couple assignments in, in each of our topics. So the first thing I'll show is how to delete an assignment that you no longer want students to access or that you no longer want them to see. So if you hover over top of the assignment, you have three little buttons on the right hand side. I'm going to click on it and we can choose to edit the assignment and repost it. We can copy the link to put somewhere else or we can just delete it out. So I'm going to click on delete and we can see that it's gone. If I click on the create button up the top left, we've already created an assignment in a previous video. So let's go through a couple of these other ones. Material would be course material that's not necessarily assigned as an assignment, but it would be something that you would want the students to do. So I'm going to start with material. I'm going to give it a title. And then I'm going to add the material that I want the students to see. It could just be a description of text, but I have a video from YouTube that I want students to watch. So I'm going to click on add and then I'm going to click on YouTube. And I'm going to go over to my YouTube video that I found. I'm going to click on the share button, copy that link. And we are going to paste it as a URL. I'm going to click add. So we can see that it's now added to uh, our Google Classroom down at the bottom. I'm going to give it the topic for science. I want all students to access it and I'm going to post it. And the classroom material notification is a little kind of book with a, a bookmark. If I click on create again, we have the option to choose a quiz assignment. What this does is it pops open a blank Google quiz. Again, we have our normal fields that we have to fill in. And you will have to edit the quiz so that students can complete it. So when you click on it, you can see you're brought to a blank quiz. Sometimes you get these pop-ups. We'll have to give it a title. And then you would just complete the questions as you would any other type of uh, Google form. And add another question. short answer. And when you are finished, you can just click out of the, the tab or you can close it down. It doesn't change the name here, but students will see the new name that you've created. And then we have all our normal options on the side here. We can choose a due date. We can put it into a topic and then we can assign it. And we can see that it's been added as a quiz underneath language. If I click on create again, I have, a, I have another type of assignment I can add, which is a question. So we have the different choices that we can add for one type of question, multiple choice or short answer. If I choose multiple choice, again, I have the options that I can put in here.
And again, the same options on the side here. Click Ask. And we can see that it's now included in the language section. The last item that we have is to reuse a post. So this will allow you to reuse a post that you've previously posted as classwork. If I go to the stream, we can see that those items are all now listed here as uh, classwork for students to see. Let's see what the student would see when they log into Google Classroom. So this is now a student Google Classroom. Student clicks in, they see the stream the same way that you do. When they click on classwork, they see something similar to what you have. They have the due date, and then they have each of their topics that shows when, or that shows which assignment is associated with each topic. They could just click on the language to see just the language items. We can see here's the, the question that has been asked, and then the other assignments. Go back to all topics and they see all their work there. So I hope this video showed you how you can add additional assignments to the classwork section of Google Classroom. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to one of your TELTCs, TELTClist at rcdsb.on.ca. Thanks for watching.